Hi, thank you for choosing Fitness with Michael. I'm Michael. Please, first of all, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom. And I'm not a medical doctor, so you need to discuss with a professional medical doctor before you start any health uh, exercise plan or diet. So that's my disclaimer. Um, uh, some of my credentials, I uh, competed in, prof in bodybuilding for, for many years. I competed against some of the best in the world, Mr. Olympias, Mr. Americas, Mr. Universes. I uh, was coached by Mr. Olympias, Mr. Universes, Mr. Americas. Um, I, uh, I'm 60 years old right now. I'm 60 years old and I'm in great shape for anybody 60 years old. I'm thinking about competing into the masters now. Um, I've spoken to Mr. Olympias about it current. I mean, uh, famous Mr. Olympias about it currently. And I've spoken to a lot of the coaches and they say I should compete again. Um, I also, uh, uh, competed in track and field, martial arts, trained people, martial arts and track and field, coached people, coached regular people for dieting and exercise and coached uh, competitive bodybuilders and other athletes. I helped people that had uh, a, a big beer gut trying to get a six pack and I helped people that had six packs trying to get into competition. Um, I, uh, uh, I'm going to, in my videos, you're going to learn things that you haven't learned before. This, this, this is, this is a, a must videos for, uh, must watch videos for people who are just trying to look good. People who are trying to get back into shape and been in shape before, because I've done that many times. Uh, people who pro, pro bodybuilders trying to compete. I'm going to be talking about posing tanning your skin your diet your your grooming everything if you just like i said if you just want to look good or you want to compete um if you have an injury you're trying to train around an injury i'm going to do videos on all this stuff i've been uh i know my videos right now are a little primitive uh but i was told just get them out there just start I, you'll learn as you go I'll, I'll my videos will get better as i go along and everything um uh I'm sure a lot of pros and people are going to look at some of the videos. Go, oh, I know this already. I know this already. But if I teach you one thing, like you watch my videos once a week, I mean, you watch my videos, and one of the videos a week teaches you something that you didn't have, you'll have an edge over somebody else that you didn't have before. If you're if you're uh, during this coronavirus right now, you got to train at home. I'm going to tell you what kind of stuff you need to use at home. Um, a lot of people worry, oh, diets didn't work for me in the past, and I had diets, and there is, diet's a four-letter word, right? D-I-E-T, D-I-E-T. It's a four-letter word. The reason that diets don't work, a lot of diets don't work. First of all, um, your, to, to, you need to get your metabolism faster. Two people can have, one guy can be sitting, just sitting there, not doing anything, and the other guy or woman, man or woman, uh, sitting there not doing anything, and one's burning more fat, uh, just resting, than the other one is doing. Why is that? Lean body, uh, body fat and lean body uh, percentages, okay? So the more muscle mass you have in comparison to your body fat, the faster your metabolism is going to be. So what do you got to do? You got to get more muscle mass. Now, a lot of people say, well, I don't want to be big. I don't want to be more big, massive, muscular and everything. But... You don't have to be. You just got to increase your muscle mass. Uh, a 20-inch a, a arm is not necessarily stronger than somebody else with a 15-inch arm. But the same arm is going to be stronger at 21 inches. That 15-inch arm is going to be stronger at 16 inches than it was before. So you need to get stronger to get more muscle mass. Now, you're going to be burning off calories, doing uh, exercises and whatever you're doing and everything, but it's a lot better to bur burn more calories at rest than you would be just, just trying to do cardio and exercise and everything. Where are you going to get stronger? By doing weights. You need to do weights. I'm going to tell you how to do the weights, what f the form, what exercise, what order, what time of day, everything. All these videos are going to help you with all that stuff. A lot of tricks that you didn't know before. 
I mean, I know there's a lot of guys out there and a lot of doing videos and stuff, and I'm, uh, they're great. Uh, I, I'm, I'm very, you know, they're just, that's great that they're doing them. I'm going to show you things that you're not going to see anywhere else. I'm going to show you tricks that no one else is going to show you, okay? Um, how do you get your, your metabolism faster? You increase your, uh, your lean body mass. So you need to get more body, more lean muscle and less body fat. I know a lot of people sitting there, well, I know all this already. Okay, well, if you're doing a lot of cardio, low intensity cardio, just going on, a lot of guys, they, people go on a treadmill and they first thing they go is go in the gym and they go on a treadmill and they start walking and they walk and they walk. What are they doing? Okay, first of all, if you got, if you just started, you just ate something, the beginning of your workout, you're doing low intensity cardio, glycogen's present in your body, you're burning off muscle. Just by doing that low, a lot of you, all you pro bodybuilders out there, you competitive bodybuilders, people know what they do, you know, more what they're doing and everything. They, they don't want to do cardio. They don't want to do low intensity you know, cardio. They're afraid they're going to lose all their, 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 their muscle that they work for. It's true. You're going to lose muscle. You know, if you go crash dieting, starving yourself, you go, I mean, these, these competitions they show on TV and everything where, where people are, 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 um, are losing crash dieting. Oh, you lost 10 pounds this week. You lost 15 pounds this week. Yeah, well, how much of that was muscle? Okay, so now if you're losing the muscle, but okay, you're losing weight, your body, your, 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 your weight's going down. First of all, there's a difference between being skinny and being fit. Do you want to be skinny or do you want to be fit? You want to look skinny or do you want to look fit? Okay, so if you're losing all that weight, you're losing muscle too. So what's happening is you're using willpower to, to, to lower the, your body weight is a difference between weight and fitness. You don't care about so much the number. You, you want to, you want to, you care about the body fat percentage that's going down. Okay. So, um, uh, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that your body fat's going down. And if you're doing low intensity of cardio, you're just eating away at the muscle. When you're losing muscle, your metabolism slowing down because your muscle percentage is going down, okay? So you don't want to do that. You want your muscle percentage to stay higher, okay? So um, how much weight should you lose? If you, Two to three pounds a week is great. I was 257 on December 1st. Today, I am 216, okay? Lost about two pounds a week. That's how much you want to lose. You want to lose around two to three pounds a week. If you're losing five, six pounds a week, you're not. You're losing muscle in the process. Okay. If 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 you weigh, you go on a scale today and you weigh X amount, and tomorrow, oh, I gained a pound and a half. One pound is equal to three thousand five hundred calories. Did you eat over four thousand calories extra last night? Probably not. So what is it? It's going to be water. It's going to be water. You go, you sweat it off, you're going to go right back down, okay? So there's water involved. There's body fat percentages involved. You need, don't go for the big numbers. Don't care about how much the scale you, oh, I want to lose five pounds. I got to lose 10 pounds. No, no, no. Every big journey starts with one step. This is your first step. I am going to show you what to do. Now, I'm reminding you to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm going to show you things. I'm going to show you things you haven't heard of before. The little things, uh, uh, treats you can eat that you didn't think you could eat. You're going to be eating more food than you can eat. If you ask any pro bodybuilder out there, well, gonna, most of them are going to say one of the hardest things is to keep eating all these meals I got to eat. And you're sitting there and going, what? How am I going to... I'm not going to be able to, I mean, it's going to be hard to eat all the food I have to eat. Yeah, it's going to be hard to eat all the food. I'm going to show you why. I know what you're saying right now. Oh, some people eat big meals, three big meals, four meals, big meals, three big meals throughout the day. Some people, you know, five or six meals. I'm going to show you why the five, six meals is better for you. And it's not what you think. So like, subscribe, and I promise my videos will be getting better quality. You'll see that. Thank you very much.